I'm Jonathan Brand. I'm an artist working in New York in New Haven, Connecticut. I didn't start 3D printing until about three years ago, and then shortly after I, I came up with this idea to 3D print a full life-size motorcycle. This is a, a 1972 Honda CB500. What originally interested me with Ultimaker was at the time uh, I contacted them two years ago. It had the biggest uh, build volume and uh, fastest printing ability. It's open source, so users have uploaded uh, custom parts to the printers or all the source files for the printers online allowing me to design and, and engineer my own parts for it. Everything's printed really, really thin so that it, it retains its transparency. And do, to do that required, you know, printing these really large prints that take a really long time to print. So even this, this seat, which is 24 inches long, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pieces. So I was able to highly customize the printer for my own output. So with 3D printing, I can, I can draw something on the computer and almost immediately realize it in real life. Um, so it goes, you know, computer model, then I have to bring it through a, a slicer that would slice it up. And then it, that communicates, you know, sends it to the printer and the printer prints it in uh, PLA plastic. The motorcycle came about because I've always wanted to own a motorcycle, but kind of life circumstances have always gotten in the way. I could never have it. And so I decided that I was just going to make one. I spent hours and hours kind of tinkering with the printers, uh, weld cutting, welding all the pieces together. And in the end, you know, I get this kind of surrogate object. All the prints I made were between uh, four to 12 hours, sometimes you know, going overnight, 24 hours. Uh, in the end, I used uh, 18 rolls of plastic. So that comes out to be about 18 kilograms of plastic in the entire motorcycle. And you can see like throughout the bike, there's little numbers. Everything was printed, numbered, cataloged, put in a box. And then even a year later, I would assemble it. I'm sure I made it really thin and really fragile so that it would be transparent. Uh, and that really pushed you know, the technology uh, to its limit. You know, I could squeeze these and crush them. Everything's like a millimeter thick. The uh, tires turn, the steering wheel turns. Um, I designed in different parts like bearings and things like that that would enable things to turn. I like the fact that we could roll it through the room. But the end result, you know, over, overall, I think is really you know, beautiful and, and effective.